Welcome to this first tutorial looking at the programming language Logo. The learning outcome for this first tutorial is to look at the many different ways of writing a program to draw a square. The success criteria of this particular lesson will be for you to be able to identify those different ways of writing a program for a square. So let's start. Opening up Logo, you'll have in the commander key a dialog box where we're going to write a short program to draw a square. So what we're going to do is we're going to go FD stands for forward 100 100 pixels space right turn space 90 the 90 meaning degrees. So we're going to do that again FD 100 space RT 90 space FD 100 space RT 90 space and one more time FD 100 space RT space 90 and when we click on the execute we should have our square now you can see the number of different commands we had to enter in the logo to get our square Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quicker way. So I'm just going to clear my screen by typing in CS into the command bar and execute and that will get rid of my square. This next way of creating a square using the logo language is to use the repeat key. As you see, in that command that we used before, we repeated FD space 100 space RT 90 four times. One, two, three, four. So, if we use the command key of repeat space four space square bracket, and then typing in the command of FD 100 space RT space 90, close my square bracket. And I execute that now we have the same square but now you can see within that particular program it's now half the size so there we have two ways of drawing a square this way and the second way using a repeat key now there is another way and what we can do is this is called a procedure what we want to do is we want Logo to remember this particular command. Rather than having to type in repeat space 4 FD100 RT90 every time that we want a square, we want to make that a little bit shorter. So what we would do is we'll just delete our commander key here and we want to click on our Ed All and it brings up our editor. Now you'll see there are two key, two commands already there, to and end. To is to tell us what is the name of the program that we want to create. So we want to create a square space. And then all we do there is we then go repeat space four space square bracket FD space 100 space RT 90 close the square bracket and then we've got our end. Now what this will mean is that when we're in the command key every time that we want a square to show up all we have to do is type in the word square. So I'm just going to save that and now we'll just clear our screen and we'll see if we've successfully written that correctly. So down in the command key I type in square and there it is. Now we can see the three different ways that we can draw a square. The original way, which we found out to be quite long, is we had to enter in all of the commands individually. The second way was to use a repeat key. When we find out that in a particular program there are things being repeated, we can use the repeat key. The 
final way is to actually write a little thing called a procedure. The procedure is called square.